Nobody should be in jail for a nonviolent crime. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. What's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. Play the radio. Make sure the television, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. It would put 720 million back, million women back in the workforce. You had people like Margaret Thatcher, oh, excuse me, you had people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in, the, in Germany. Legs that turn that 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 turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again they'd look at it so i learned about roaches i learned about kids jumping on my lap and i've loved kids jumping on my trust like his strange hold on defense secretary ash carter's wife stephanie <laughs> And see, I went to the big guys for the money. I was ready to prostitute myself in the, man the manner in which I talk about it. But and so the younger generation now tells me how tough things are. Give me a break. No, no. I have no empathy for it. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. It's a fully, I'm not joking. This is near the end of the Biden for president campaign when reporters were starting to uncover, you know, accusations of plagiarism, both in his campaign speeches and in his coursework in law school, uh, misrepresentations about his grades, et cetera. And there you see Biden, you know, full of bluster when one person in, in the kitchen or wherever in New Hampshire said, you know, didn't you inflate your grades? Biden lost it and started uh, berating the man in a way that could only make him look uh, like a bully and like a blowhard. And the other question oh, is, man. could you quickly, I, I think we I, I, think I probably right. have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect, yeah. and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, no, no, Frank. The Me Too movement has forced a cultural reckoning around the issue of sexual violence and harassment against women in America. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching. And why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lion dog faced pony soldier. <laughs> Get your work straight, Jack. Uh, look, uh, look, here's the deal. I'm not voting for you. Well, I knew you weren't, man. You think I thought you'd stand up and vote for you? You're too old to vote for you. We've acted together. We have never, never, never been unable to overcome whatever the problem was. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. The president has a big stick. Oh, no, I, I'm not going to be a mule. I, I, I'm, I, I, I got something to do. I got to go do boom, boom, boom. That saves billions of gallons of gasoline. I mean, bi billions of uh, two point, I think it's $2.3 billion worth of, excuse me, $500 billion in savings and two point something billion metric tons of CO2 going in the air. I promise you, the president has a big stick. I promise you. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing.